Ooh, what's up, guys? Wait a minute, I do this right. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's up, it's your boy Ty. Thanks for joining me. I am the self love content creator. Back with another video. Before I get into it, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check out my so uh, check out my social media links down below and make sure you show me some love. But anyway, you guys, uh, I'm in the middle of the workout. Um, as you know, I'm a sweet sweat ambassador. This is not what this is a video about. But if you're interested, all my ambassador links, I do get paid commission, but all my ambassador links and everything is down below in the description. Check it out. But I wanted to take you back for a second. This is a moment of transparency and stuff like that. I haven't done that type of video in a long time, but this is where I started with my workout videos in my room. I didn't bring my light out. I didn't bring in my fancy lights that I have out now. Just got the, I was, when I first started, I was working with the, um, the light, the natural light, so I got the window open, but I still got the video up, but if you go back and look at my first video, my channel was going to be something totally different. It was, I wasn't even wanting to make the videos public. I was, it's going to be like a, a video diary of sorts, you know, just working through my pain and stuff like that, because in that video, I talked about a little bit, but in 2015, I lost my home to a fire. And in that video, I expressed that, you know, it was my fault. I also blamed for it and I didn't really know what I was going to do. In this moment of transparency, I'm going to let you guys know I ain't got nothing figured out. People look at my posts and stuff like that and like, you only see like 1% of the real, to be honest with you, in general speaking. Me, I try to be very transparent when I post things and stuff like that, but you know, I go through a lot and I have been through a lot and I have triumphed. I am still breathing and stuff like that. Last year for me was really, really unique because uh, as we know, the panoramic was going on. I have to say that because YouTube will flag my video, but the panoramic was happening. It's still happening now, but it was very, very new and sudden. Uh, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know I read, I do the tarot cards and stuff like that. I kind of, I really predicted what was going on. When it started out, the panoramic, panoramic I was really um, I was kind of chill about it you know because I was going through a lot so I really didn't have no time to really d dwell on what was going on because I'm gonna link the video down below but something happened last year in 2019 two years ago in 2019 so I was really really focused on that and I was really really shedding those layers of pain shedding those layers of sorrow and I was in the healing really began as you know from my prior videos, if I can find them, if I remember to do it, I will put them in the iCards. I've been doing this for so long, I still don't know where the iCards pop up. But I have been doing steps by step by step of the healing process. If I have this right, the, the first thing I've done was I cut my locks. I was freeforming. Freeforming was very, very freeing for me. However, before I started freeforming, my hair was carrying a lot because in the black community, as you know, hair is a very important thing. It's very spiritual. It's a part of our identity and it's connected to our soul. I cut off my locks. I've been doing the meditating, the sage, the incense. Uh, I've maybe like four months in, I built my ancestor altar and stuff like that. So I've been really, really pulling back those layers, pulling back those layers, pulling back those layers and really doing the healing process. However, I just gotta be transparent. I have not made the best decisions of healing. I have not uh, really, really done stuff in the right order that people tell me, cause I really, really do. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're just dead wrong. I just go with my gut and I go with my intuition and I've made some mistakes. However, I, those mistakes were, were definitely need to be made. One of the steps of healing that I'm still trying to work on, I definitely address it now. That's one of the steps of healing. I definitely address the fact that I have an issue with men, especially when it comes to male authority, mayor, leadership, mentors, teachers, what so have you. So once again, as you follow me on Instagram or you see my, uh, my videos on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. I do not have dreams anymore. I don't call them dreams, I call them visions because everything that I dreamed about coronavirus, uh, mass panic, riot. I've been dreaming about that for months before it happened. So since November, I've been having dreams about getting together, cam uh, camaraderie, cannot say that word. Just being together in a group and finding a mentor. Like I was saying, finding a mentor, that's something I was really, really looking for. I did have an opportunity, I will talk about this in another video, but I did have an opportunity to do that, 
but it was not in the right space at all for me and my mental health. It was a lot. We will talk about that in another video. So I just have recently, actually this morning, left that situation and uh, I guess I'm gonna find mentorship uh, and um, togetherness into another group because that group was not good for me because if you don't know, now you know. Black folk are empathic. A lot of us are. Hey, some more transparency. I ain't been working out like that. <laughs> I was to be honest with you, I have not been working like that. Like I said in prior videos, mostly on Instagram, make sure you follow my Instagram, that's where you get quicker updates. I bank videos, so a lot, not a lot, but a lot of content that you've seen have been banked. I have done them weeks prior because things happen, emotions happen, and sometimes I just don't feel like working out. And actually, it's very safe to, you know, listen to your body, listen to your emotions before working out. I like to broke, I like to twist my ankle so many times for not listening to my body, my intuition. So yeah, being very transparent, I have not been working out like that. And like I said in, the, in uh, the beginning of the video, I'm actually in the middle of working out, but I had, like I said, I'm trying to stay focused, so I had to get this out. You know, this content, this transparency, all that. So yeah, um, I am working out this new year. Of course, I'm working out trying to get in shape the way I see it. I'm not trying to look at anybody else. My, how I see fitness and how I see health, that's, that's what I'm doing. Thankfully, I do have the, I'm not gonna say her name because this is very intimate, it's very private between me and her, but I do have a support system from, uh, well, multiple support system. I have a total of three people, excluding my family, of course. Uh, but yeah, I do have a support system and thankfully I am going to be a sweet sweat ambassador again. I'll be able to make money, I'll be able to make uh, content, and also I'll be able to inspire more people to work out, and most and, and most importantly, just heal. I did not know I was on plan doing no video, but the Lord said, get your ass to that camera and record. That's not how the Lord talks in my head, but I don't know, I don't know why I did that accent. Moment of transparency, I'm still not in the place where I want to be. Transparency. I'm still living with family, so hopefully we'll be able to. Um, I'll be able to move on and, and stand on my own two feet, and that's why. And that and that's where you guys come in, just supporting and, sh and sharing and clicking that like button. That's how I get exposed more on on YouTube. And that way, I get more followers and subscribers and stuff like that. I have seen the subscriber count. My subscriber count is rising. I really, I really do love that. But make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the video. Do that. That's how I get more growth, and that's how YouTube be like, hey. He's doing something. Well, the algorithm's kind of racist, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to continue to do moments of transparency. So you guys, I when I started doing videos, when I started doing my skincare, beard care, hair care, I always like told you guys I'm going to be transparent and honest about it. I'm not going to come to you guys with any BS. We don't do that no more. I don't BS no more. Thank God. Yeah, 2021 is definitely going to be a good year for us. So for anybody that's watching this video, keep going, keep grinding. Do what you have to do to get to the place of your happiness. And I mean your happiness, not the happiness and not the success that other people see of you or other people's idea of happiness is success, your vision of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to get back working out. I'm not going to upload this video. Sometimes I like to work out and sometimes I like to uh, do what I do for me. That's actually another part of healing. Som sometimes just posting stuff on social media back to back to back to back to back to back to back is not healthy. Sometimes you want to live in the moment. And that's another reason why I bank videos. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for the subscribers. I really, really appreciate my loyal people that comment. I see you. I love you. Thank you so much. And like always, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you click the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. And my social media, I'd be forgetting to say this, but my social media is down below in the description box. But like always, if you're new here, this side in my videos. Ooh, 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 ooh. Positive advice coming your way. Peace.